I've come to the conclusion this week that the chances of me getting a quiet five to ten minutes to film a video at the moment in this house is extremely slim so I'm just gonna go with it I've given them iPads I have no shame we've done the schoolwork for the day I have no light left so hopefully this is okay um, and yeah I'm just gonna have to make the best of a very chaotic situation to film this video so I mentioned back last week I think that I wanted to film a video with some of my favorite purchases that I've made recently for the house. As I said then, there aren't lots, but people still said they would like me to share them. So I thought I would quickly talk you through a few of the things that I've picked up recently that I'm really pleased with, I'm glad I bought, and um, yeah, I just think they really enhance certain areas of the cottage that needed that little something extra. So the first thing I actually mentioned briefly in that video, and it's the bar stools that I got from Dunelm. Good old Dunelm, there's a couple of things from there in this video actually. When we moved in, I couldn't quite find the what I was looking for, and I'd seen some on, I think on Instagram, which were quite expensive, and I didn't really want to pay that. They were well over £100 per stool, and I wanted to find something more reasonable in price. So I did a bit of research and I found these and they were only £59, I believe, from Dunelm. They were out of stock for ages. They're obviously very popular, so I just kept checking and then snapped up two of them when they came back into stock. We can only really fit two here. Even these two don't quite go all the way under, which isn't ideal. If we turn them to the side slightly, they do fit, so it's fine. But um, yeah, we certainly can't get away with more than two. But that is actually working out okay for us because it's usually the two little ones that will sit while I'm cooking and they'll sit there or me and Dan will sometimes sit there to have a coffee on the weekend. Really pleased with them. I think they were a really good price. The quality is excellent and they just match the style of the kitchen. We will be painting this island at some point in the relatively near future, so obviously the colour against the painted island will look better, but for now I'm just really pleased with how they look. I may as well tell you about the other thing from Dunelm as well while we're at it, and it's this sofa. I can't tell you how pleased I am with this. The colour is just what I wanted. I wanted a mustard yellow, nothing too bright, but not a gold either. I didn't want it. A brownie yellow, I wanted that perfect mustard shade and it really is the right colour that I had in mind and it's a velvet sofa, it cleans, like you can spot clean it easily and the marks come straight off which is essential for me with four kids and a rather large dog. It's really comfortable, it was really reasonably priced and I just love the extra colour that it brings to the room. I put this H&M cushion on it which wasn't one of the items I was going to tell you about but I may as well mention it because I'm really pleased with the colour combination of the pink and the sort of muted earthy tones with the mustard. Just above the sofa is this print that I ordered from Society6 and again I saw this on Instagram, I'm so influenced by Instagram when it comes to interiors, but this, as soon as I saw it I had to have it. I love artwork with a little bit of personality, we've got our uh, cow with a pearl earring in our living room which is one of the best purchases I've ever made, I bought it probably 10 years ago now and I still love it and I know that I will love this one just as much. The print was shipped from outside of the UK so I ordered just the print rather than the frame because I thought it would just be more cost effective that way and I had it framed by a local framer. Something about the colours, they work really well with the sofa and yeah, it just, just brought that little area of the kitchen to life and given it a bit more personality which is what I was looking to do. The next two items I want to tell you about are in the living room. The first is this sideboard that I got from the Cotswold Company. The TV is mounted on the wall so it needed to be something quite tall so there wasn't too much space between the two and I did a lot of toing and froing online and found this one. I love the colour of it with the oak top, I like the handles, it had good reviews, I know and trust the company as well so I decided to go for it. It wasn't too expensive but obviously it's a big piece of furniture so I wanted to make sure I got it right. I'm planning to buy an armchair for next to the fire in the same sort of colour so that will work well too. It's obviously extra storage for toys and bits and pieces in the living room as well so again really pleased with this one. I will link it below. They tend to go out of stock in this particular piece of furniture but it's worth waiting for if you're looking for a new sideboard or storage item. The next item that I'm over the moon with is the rug. I got this from Lara Dupt. Again, another Instagram purchase that I'd seen on numerous accounts actually. I've seen it all over the place and it's just a little bit fun. I like the polka dots. I love a polka dot on interiors, bits and pieces. It's a good size. They come in a variety of sizes actually and I think we went for the largest one. 
and with the oak chevron floors I just think it again it's all about that little bit of quirkiness and personality which I think it really brings it's super soft not as soft as it was considering how often I have to hoover it and how many humans and dogs are rolling all, all over it 24 hours a day but it actually still looks really clean which I was a little bit concerned about there's been no major incidents with red wine which is another good thing I'm just really pleased with how it looks I think it brings this part of the lounge to life the next purchase that I'm really pleased with is in the bathroom this is actually the kids bathroom and doesn't this just sum up mum life that you try and do something cute and decorative and somebody puts a toilet roll on it this shelf was not intended for toilet rolls it was intended to be slightly functional I have a shampoo and conditioner on there but I also wanted something pretty above the toilet in the kids bathroom just to break up that stretch of wall and to add a little bit more color and texture to the space this was from next it was priced at 50 pounds this was out of stock for ages as well but I just kept checking it and eventually it came back in so if it's out of stock at the moment it's worth checking back every couple of weeks or so and hopefully they'll get some more stock the final item that I've bought for the house recently that I'm really pleased with are these desk chairs. I searched high and low for desk chairs for the kids' rooms that I really liked. I wanted something slightly industrial looking. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. Um, nothing too desk looking. I wanted it to be to look like a comfortable chair and to add a bit of texture and colour to the room. I liked the fact that this was brown leather. I just thought that gave it a bit of a retro kind of look and feel it really matched well particularly with the girls bedroom with their bunk beds and the boys bedroom isn't quite finished yet but when it is it'll tie in perfectly with that as well my two eldest kids who use the chairs assure me that they're really comfortable they like that they spin and that they're on wheels I don't like that bit quite so much because it makes marks on the carpet so if any of you have a solution for that short of removing the wheels and banning them from scooting around their bedrooms on the chairs I'd like to hear them. But other than that, they were a great buy. They were priced at £80. They were from Argos. And yeah, I would highly recommend. They do them in black as well if you prefer that colour. So those are the items that I've bought recently for the house that I'm really pleased with. I hope you enjoyed hearing about them. I'll leave them all linked for you in the description bar. I'm absolutely amazed that I've made it through this video without being interrupted it's a miracle. I better go and check that they're not drawing on the walls or something. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.